Hey guys, Mike Fecht here with Yoga for Men. It's hard to deny the fact that yoga has become a form of physical fitness in the West and that people are going to yoga studios not only for the meditative benefits, but for you know the physical workout. You know, let's just be honest. But I think a lot of times what people are searching for when they're when they're looking for a more difficult workout or a more difficult physical practice. They could actually find if they just looked to find the deeper engagements in the postures that you're already moving through. So today we're going to talk about that and we're going to use Warrior 2 as an example. Okay, so moving into Warrior 2, I've got heel to instep alignment. The right foot can be straight across. It could be angled a little bit toward the front of the mat if you prefer. Okay, but you know, just talking about what it looks like. And you look around a room in a studio, see a bunch of people like this, and that's warrior two. But if that's your warrior two, then you're missing out on a whole lot of engagement in this posture. So let's talk about the cues, okay? Let's talk about the cues from the, from the ground up, all right? So in approaching warrior two, you might think about with the bottom of the feet, lift the toes, root down through the pads of the feet. That helps to kind of lift the arches as well. Release the toes back down. Right? We're going to press through the outer edge of this right foot, right? So this quad's nice and strong, okay? And this hip is going to feel like action-wise as if you're kind of pressing and rolling out, but this adductor at the same time is going to feel like it's pulling in. So it's kind of an iso, uh, isometric contraction right here. As you sink in to the lunge in that front thigh, right? You might be right here. You might get a little bit longer. Eventually, you know, the idea is that we might reach... 90 degrees or so. But instead of just dumping into this front thigh where that energy is moving this way, you know, with the bottom of both of the feet, it's as if you're drawing energy up from the ground. So the hamstrings engaged at the same time that the quads are engaged too. Okay, so that's just our lower half. As you start to work your way up, you know, we're going to engage here through the core. So there's like this slight tuck or, or sucking the belly in. And then you want the spine long, right? Up through the top of the head. So we're nice and tall. We're not leaning forward. You might see a lot of people moving into warrior two. We're right here. You're right here. Nice and tall, straight spine. Okay. The triceps are engaged at the same time the biceps are engaged. There's this wrapping effect, right? And then in terms of the fingers, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of a believer of personal preference because I do like to have the fingers spread wide or you might have the fingers you know, everything squeezed together. And then if we're talking about that Tristana method, right? We're talking about the gaze right over those fingertips. We're talking about the breath and finding that nice, long, deep breath. And then all of that engagement and all that sensation whew, that I feel in that posture. So, you know, if you're thinking that you need more of a physical workout in your practice, maybe take time to look at the engagement in each one of the postures first and then go from there. Namaste, guys. Have a good one.